month doesn't pass by and uh, some, uh, some person tells me, listen, I want to work for the organization, I want to do Kiruv. Some want to work for free, some want to work for a salary. Nine out of ten we don't even consider just simply because what they want and what we do is two different things. And you see some people, they do, they do, they give lectures, they, I don't know, they pass out cards, whatever they do. But you see that a lot of it doesn't work. But sometimes you see this one guy shines like the sun. Doesn't matter what he does, he can give people cups, they do tshuva. He speaks, a, gives a shiur Torah with broken English. Five people do tshuva, ten people do tshuva. People start crying in the crowd. Another guy could know half the shas by heart. Nobody's changing. Why? Why does this one guy have such fortune, such a blessing, and the other guy, I mean, logically it would make sense if he actually has the blessing. That's because in order to get the greatest blessing of all blessings, a person has to pass a test. And the prophet says, ancient ruins will be rebuilt through you and you will restore generations, old foundations, you will have the ability to change the fortune of the previous generations. Ones that have been ruined. They went off to Derech. They converted. They did all types of horrible things. You will get a blessing that will be able to not only fix your life, theirs too. They will, kill, they will, they will call you what HaKadosh Baruch Hu calls you. What does HaKadosh Baruch Hu call you? Goder Peretz. You want the blessing of Goder Peretz. What's Goder Peretz? Goder Peretz is the repairer of the breach. The repairer of the breach and the restorer of the path of habitation. So the prophet tells you, you want the blessing of being Goder Peretz. Why do you want the blessing of Goder Peretz? Because you want to help people do tshuva. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, I'm only going to make it work if you pass the test. What's the test? I'm going to throw at you different broken fences. Different breaches that have been broken already for generations. You fight to put back that fence and I'll allow the words or whatever acts you do to turn the reshaim into tzaddikim. I won't make anybody just because he's a good speaker help people transform their life. A lot of people are good speakers. Some of the biggest reshaim in the world are great speakers. Fantastic speakers. But even if they were reading the Torah of Mount Sinai, they wouldn't be able to move a single person in the crowd. They can't move themselves. They're like a corpse. Why? Because success that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives you is not yours. He gives it to you. But in order to have that ability that Rashi brings from the Targum Yonatan. He says, what is this restore of the path of habitations? The Mesovev Netivot Lashavet. That is turning the Reshaim, the wicked, wicked people, back to Hashem. Bringing them back. Wicked them Tzadikim. So Kedosh Baruch Hu says, I'll give you a test. I'm going to throw the fences at you. Whether it's the fence that was broken with wigs, or the fence that was broken with dishonest business, or the fence that was broken with uh, lending money with interest, 
other fence that was broken with idol worship it's uh, accepted in communities and they bring missionaries to the Keila. Or the fence that was broken with this, or the fence that was broken with that, or the fence with Chilul Shabbat, or the fence with Chilul Hashem, or the fence that with wasting seed, or the fence with uh, all types of adultery. I'm going to bring you those fences in front of you. It's going to show up at your shul, it's going to show up in your community. What are you going to do about it? If you don't do anything about it, then you're part of the broken fence. You're part of the broken fence. You want me to allow you to bring my kids back? You're one of the Rashaim yourself. Why? The Gemara in Yerushalmi, Masechet Ketubot, section 13, Allah number 1, says, the corruption of the sinners is attributed to the person who doesn't say anything. You see people mechalel Shabbat, you see people dishonest in business, you see people doing all types of things against Hashem, and you don't do anything about it. You're part of the problem. You're the community leader, you're on the board, you're a gvir, you're giving money, you're a rabbi, you're whatever you are, you have a position of some kind. And you sit there quietly, why? You don't want to disturb your uh, peace. The Gemara says, all of the sins that they're doing goes to your account also. HaKadosh Baruch Hu wanted to give you an opportunity. He brought in front of you a broken fence. You're like, oh, why do I have these problems? Chas v'shalom to say that. He gave you those problems as a gift. He brought you a heretic rabbi as a gift. He brought you Mechale Shabbat as a gift. He brought you Chilul Hashem when they're bringing missionaries to the shul as a gift. Why is a gift? Because if you know what to do, to speak out against it, to cry to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, to cry to Am Yisrael, this is a broken fence, then guess what? From that point on, your words are like HaKadosh Baruch Hu said it. People are going to hear it, people are going to change and that's the gift of all gifts. Why? Because that's not only going to fix your own broken past, your own Chilul Hashem, your own desecration of, of, of Shabbat and all of the things that you did yourself, but that's also going to fix your Saba and your Safta and your Saba, Saba, Safta and whoever started the broken chain at some point. It's not a coincidence that right before the Shul, Sonny told me about two people I never heard of in my life, even though I know him for almost a decade. That we have to do a shiur for Elu Nishma because he doesn't think that anybody ever did a shiur for their Elu Nishma. Apparently, it doesn't seem like they were the most religious people in the world. But today, they got a shiur dedicated to their Neshama. In Shemaim, they're dancing because they have a shiur for them. Why did they get such a merit? If there were tzaddikim, it would say after their name, Zecher Tzaddik Livracha. But it doesn't say that. But do you know why they got the benefit of having a shiur dedicated to their name? Because you're inside a house of, of people that have been involved with Zikui Rabim for several years already. So part of the reward of doing this is that Kadosh Baruch Hu says, okay, you fixed, you're, you're, you're fixing, you fixed, you did a lot of good stuff. Now it's part two. Now I'm going to help you fix the past. Where the chain broke. Where the chain broke 50, 100 years ago, it broke. Because you're already at, you're doing what you're supposed to do. You spoke out against the lies. You were part of publicizing all the, all the truth that's out there. Now you get a gift. What's the gift? It's not just fixing yourself. It's not just having tzaddikim kids in a beautiful house. No, that's nothing. Now you're able to fix something you didn't even realize is fixable. This is why HaKadosh Baruch Hu tells us, look at how great my gifts are. Look at how great my blessings are. Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov did something good several thousand years ago. They're still getting paid for it till this day. A 
and you want to miss out on it by not following the Torah. That's why the curses are so bad. When you get to the curses, the curses are horrible. Why are they so bad? When you reject such a great gift, you deserve a curse like that. When somebody is married to a righteous woman and she takes care of herself and she prepares herself and it's mikveh night and she took care of the kids and the kids are sleeping or they're at the in-laws or somewhere and there's food and there's this and everything is ready and she's excited to see her husband she is literally giving herself to her husband. And the husband comes home. He says, eh, Why, you here? No, I'm going to go out with my friends to a bar. There's a game. There's a game. There's a super, uh, super paw. Super something. Super dogs. Pikachu's on TV. We have to go drink beer until we get stupider. So I'll take a rain check on this. The next day he comes home after he sobered up. And instead of seeing his wife and kids, there's a lawyer in the house with divorce papers. Are you surprised? Do you feel bad for him? No. He deserves everything he got. The gift was the greatest gift in the world. Was being offered to you on a silver platter. And where'd you go? You went to a broken sister in some hole in the middle of the desert. Looking for water. When you had an entire river. The blessings of the Torah are so beautiful. HaKadosh Baruch Hu says, If you reject this, you deserve the curse. And that's why Rabotai and Karim, it's important for us to know the curses. But sometimes we also have to be reminded of the blessings. Because the blessings, the blessings are things that we can actually literally Grab at will as often as you want. Just do what you're supposed to. And Be'ezat Hashem, this house, and this wonderful family will continue to get more and more blessings and more and more opportunities not only to be part of Kiruv and sanctify Kadosh Baruch Hu's name, but also to continue to fix the broken parts of the chain. Wherever they broke, whenever they broke, and Bezot Hashem, each and every single one of us will be able to do the same and more.